guys. I'm out and about exploring today off of Saltwell Road. Actually, it's off of Saltwell Creek, um, off of Stepstone Road in Bath County. I'm looking for an old pioneer fort. I'm also going to explore an old homestead settlement from the 1800s. It's just adjacent to me by I-64. This is Saltwell Creek here, just adjacent to I-64 in Bath County. Uh, it's uh, west as you head out of Bath County toward Mount Sterling. Uh, I do have permission from the property owner. I just spoke with him just a second ago and he's allowed me exclusive access to come back here and explore as much as I can. Again, I'm leaving no trace as they say. This is uh, supposedly where the old salt well is. Uh, we talked a little bit on the uh, history podcast about the uh, salt wells and the, the salt licks in the area. There was a uh, salt well here somewhere, not for sure entirely where it was, but allegedly it was somewhere in this vicinity. So hopefully we'll be able to try to find something about that too. I found what looks like to be an, an old road of some sort or old path. Uh, at first I thought it was just a uh, cow path. But looking a little bit further, there looks like there's been a path cut through the woods here at one point. This could have been an early traveler road. Uh, it goes along the creek here. And it's not, you know, it's something that to think about. The It could have been a little bit wider here, but over the years, erosion and flooding, it's probably taken chunks of the creek, uh, the creek bank away. So this is kind of neat. Uh, just kind of stumbled upon it as I was walking the creek bank here. Alright guys, I, I'm not for sure, but I may be on the site of where the old station was. Basically, a station was a fortified location, a settlement of maybe one, two, three cabins that had a stockade wall around them. Uh, these stations were integral to the defense of the area against native attacks in the late 1700s, early 1800s. So what we're looking at here now, there's a rise here, and the property only told me that the way he understood it, the uh, settlement used to be on a little knob, which is about where I am, up behind the old scale house. The scale house is described as that little white building you see in the distance. Um, I'm not for sure if this is it, but uh, it looks like a good likely spot because you have a full range of view, uh, which at the time probably was wild and woolly. I'm sure that there was a lot more forest in this area about that point. Uh, you've got Slate Creek, bordering those sycamores off in the distance. And then you've got uh, Saltwell Creek, which is over a steep embankment here. So the likelihood of a station or a settlement of some type, this would be a good spot for it. Again, I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna look around a little bit long, a little bit more uh, and see what we can find. Another likely location of the old station would may have been over in that little knob there. Uh, unfortunately, there's some uh, sleeping cattle over there with some newborn calves I really don't want to disturb and cause a stampede upon me. So I think I'll just stay clear of that area for right now. Uh, that seems a more likely area due to the proximity of the water sources that were here, that are still here. Uh, just ahead of the uh, field there is Slate Creek and Salt Wells bordering uh, to the north. Um, so that would likely be a a better spot I would think uh, again there's no no traces of the station or anything in his in, in recent history uh, behind me on the ridge that you saw earlier there was, used to be a large cabin structure up there however it was built later on it wasn't as old as what I'm looking for uh, and it was occupied for many years and just recently tore down, torn down within the last 20, 20, 25 years. So uh, that's another possible location of the, the station fortification. Um, eventually I'll get over there and explore it, but I'm not gonna upset this uh, healthy bovine population. have Slate Creek. Uh, Slate Creek was a very important waterway uh, in the time of the early, early settlements of this area. 
Uh, this section of Slate Creek is upstream from uh, the Bourbon Iron Works, which is about uh, 10, 11 miles on the creek from here. Uh, and we're downstream from Morgan Station. Morgan Station in Montgomery County is probably seven or eight miles back that way upstream. Guys, what you're seeing over here are the remains of an old rock fence. There's not much left of it. Looks like there may have been one over the hill here from me that bordered this property I'm on now. Uh, but there's part of that still left over there, and I found another part where I parked. A lot of people have called these slave fences over the years. And while that makes for a good story from that era, it's actually not true. These stone fences were put up by early settlers here from the Irish and Scottish descent. In Ireland and Scotland and the Highlands especially, they would build these fences as property markers, kind of like what you see now with wood plank or uh, wire fences. I found what appears to be the first signs of something being in this area here. I mean the long uh, corn row again. And I found what appears to be a piece of porcelain uh, just laying openly. Very small piece, very lightweight. Definitely some old porcelain. This is out in the middle of this field here, so I may be near the location of the settlement. The only other settlement I know of was uh, pretty far back on the ridge back there, but uh, so this is this is kind of neat. I'm gonna put it back where I found it, and that way uh, I'm not disturbing anything that the property owner has. Now, when you think back to the old settlements and the early settlers' livelihoods around here, water was one of the most important things ever. And the sources of water we had here were Saltwell Creek and Slate Creek. But I've came upon a still active spring here in the field. Right in the middle of the field here, right off uh, Interstate 64, a good flowing spring. All right guys, I've made it to the old homestead from the roadway it doesn't look that big, but once you get close to it, it was a pretty good sized structure. Uh, this is the front uh, that faces toward the Saltwell Creek and a little wooded area in front there. Uh, what you see from the interstate is the back of the home. Uh, so this is, this is a real treat. This is a lot bigger than what I expected it to be. So we're gonna try to roam around a little bit, explore in there and find out uh, what all uh, secrets lie in there. I was talking earlier about the uh, spring down there and that it was kind of far off for them to be able to use it as a steady water source. Uh, here's the back of the house. Just a few feet away, this is the old well. Still has some of the mortar, the mud mortar and the rocks in between it. Look how tight these joints were going into them. Now it looks like the front of this was built on after some time. So the original house, the front of it would have stopped right here, it looks like. The porch and everything was built on later. And then the, the back of it was built on later. seen here guys is the original outer wall of the homestead uh, you'll see that those are the original logs with the mortar and mud between them uh, when they built this additional room on which was likely a kitchen uh, it looks like they may have insulated it with pieces of cardboard got some sort of writing on them there's a piece of 
cardboard post brand flakes and that's a very old box you know, a piece of cardboard very neat Uh, that was the area of uh, one of the early settlements here in Bath County. Unfortunately, there was no place I could really uh, say definitive where it was. Uh, aside from that piece of porcelain I found, there was really no trace of anything uh, due to the agricultural uh, work that's been done on it over the years. Uh, I am uh, taking a well-deserved break. That was a, quite a little height there.